phone might be over, but Alfred has left its mark on around 500 kilometres of coastline. Millions of tonnes of sand has been washed away from dozens of iconic beaches. Yeah, waves on the Gold Coast reached a record 12 metres during the biggest storm in the area has seen in almost 50 years, transforming the smooth shoreline into a jagged mess. As we've seen, the pictures are horrifying, aren't they? To tell us more, we're joined by coastal engineer Aaron Salyer, live on the Gold Coast. Morning to you. The the scale of this erosion looks devastating. How bad is it? Yeah, morning guys. Uh, another great day here as a beach engineer on the Gold Coast. As you can see behind me, it looks like um, you can see a, a nice filled dune system and you wouldn't think that 12 metre waves have been crashing into this place. The Gold Coast is pretty unique and we've done this over the last, like you say, 50 years, really prepare ourselves for this situation where you know, under the dune system, there's a terminal rock wall that's been put in place. These dunes are actually artificially designed and built to withstand those kind of cyclone conditions so that we don't end up destroying the millions and millions of dollars worth of properties all along this coastline. So mm. overall, I'd say it's held up pretty well. Yeah, I mean, it hasn't gotten as close as uh, some people thought it may have. What about the sand? Because so much of it has been basically washed back into the ocean. How do we get it back on the beaches? Yeah, you're right. So the way these um, beach systems work, is they're quite highly dynamic. So erosion is actually a natural process. So the dune systems up on the top of the beach get hit by high in, uh, impact storms some of that sand out into the offshore zone which create those offshore sandbars. Now those offshore sandbars over time will naturally start to wash back in and rebuild this naturally. That could be over a, you know, the course of a matter of months, it could even be you know, up to a couple of years to fully recover but here on the Gold Coast we just can't wait that long. We're too dependent on this beach not only as a soft infrastructure but as an asset to the community. So the Gold Coast Council is going to step in, um, kind of hurry that along by doing things like bringing in a big dredge to actually shift that sand from offshore onto the onshore zone and then we can actually push it up into the dune system. So, mm. um, you know, you can see, see things happen as, as soon as next week, you know, getting this, this, getting this thing back online. There you go. Mother Nature needs a bit of help sometimes. Have you seen it this bad before, Aaron? Oh, uh, well, the Gold Coast is actually not new to the concept of cyclones. So like you said, one of the big ones that happened about 50 years ago was devastating for the Gold Coast. You know, beach, beachfront properties falling into the sea, uh, roads falling into the sea. Um, you know, then another one in 67 where, you know, people were literally dumping old cars along the, the edge of the erosion to try and stop it. Um, side note, cars don't work as coastal erosion solutions, so don't try that at home. Um, then again in the 70s, so the Gold Coast has been uh, hit quite a few times over the years. Then back in the 80s, um, actually our, our company director found out he, he was in the Gold Coast City Council and set up these great strategies and systems in place, mandating that the, the dunes um, are artificially built in front of this you know, permanent rock wall under, underneath here. So we have this big natural buffer at all times in case um, you know these worst case events do come through and they will and they will come through again yeah. but now um, the, the you can see that you can see the difference between the the similar storm 50 years ago and the, the one today like no houses are falling into the sea no road falling yeah, into the sea it's so, working isn't it you know we're, we're, hey, we're kind Aaron, of designed for it we're, we're basically yeah just quickly so if you're planning a trip there for yeah. the Easter long weekend what can we expect yeah uh, look, the mayor said that he wants to have the beaches back by Easter. I think if the mayor wants to do it, he can do it. Um, you know, maybe not the whole 50 kilometre stretch of the yeah. Gold Coast, but, you know, we can definitely definitely uh, pinpoint some of the erosion hotspots, especially those ones that are going to be um, perfect well, for the tourism news. season. Um, but, but at the moment, you know, we're, we're on a high tide now, but I was down here yesterday at low tide and, you know, people are out walking their dogs and, and going along. So it's mm. it's not, um, you know, the end of the world for the beaches on the Gold Coast and they will bounce back quickly, especially with that intervention from the local councils team. Okay, we'll let you get back to work. Aaron, thank you very much for your time. It's fascinating, isn't it? It really is.